What's going on everybody, Sophisticated here, your resident title trickster, bringing you the latest and greatest biz content there is to offer. If you enjoy what we do on the channel, remember to show your support by subscribing, smashing that like button, and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Without further ado, let's get right into today's gameplay. What's going on guys, Sophisticated here, bringing you another episode of our Grind to Diamond. This is our third episode, and today we're up against a Galio. I thought we were up against a Velkaz, and it was going to be a uh, Galio support, so I took PTA. If I would have known it was going to be Galio, I probably would have taken Electrocute. But Galio is going to be a really, really hard matchup, especially since he went the Aftershock. So we'll see how this goes. We have a Vi Jungle into a uh, Nidalee, a Darius Top into a Fiora, which I think that might be a pretty volatile lane since this guy went Ghost and Flash. And then a super long range against a super short range uh, bot lane. I'm not sure how our bot lane is going to go. All right, let's see what he does here. All right, so no one's showing yet. I might just take W and just shove this in super hard. Because once Galio gets here, he is going to have way harder of a uh, push than us. Not that I don't mind or don't want to get super hard pushed in early, but I just think it's easy to get that. Uh, Ooh, I think Fiora might be dead right there. She's kind of getting cheese there. Good hit by his passive on us. She'll probably die there unless she used sums. All right, let's see. We're farming pretty good. Got the whole first wave. We probably won't get a solo kill on this guy unless we get some help from our Vi. All right. I'm just going to level my E and, uh, and jump over his uh, knockup because I can't let him hit me with that knockup. It'll do a lot of damage. He'll get his uh, Aftershock proc also. All right, so let's just come get a ward up right here. So that way we'll see if their Nidalee does come up and uh, gank us. And now I'll just let this guy push me in here. Yeah, it looks like top's going to be a very volatile lane. She did flash. Although I'm not sure what uh, what Darius did. I'm not sure if she could, should look top. Could probably kill this guy pretty easily. I think they may just get double killed up there top lane. That's the only problem. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I think Fiora's going to die to him anyways, yeah. Hopefully, Vi can at least get a kill back. No, it looks like she's going to get double killed. I, I kind of called that. All right, so not the greatest start. I'm just going to tell her we can kill mid. It's really not what you want to see early as a uh, Darius pick up two kills. It looks like our bot lane's kind of getting toasted up, too. We'll see, though. Fiora scales really well into the game, so there's not much I can do against this guy's pressure right now. The threat of his Aftershock trades are just too big. All right, so let's see here. Let's just try and farm it up and then get some gold and potentially just have to look to roam, honestly. All right, so there's the Nidalee. Obviously, we see her. Um, what's the bot lane looking like? I may make just an early roam. Let's try and go to go bot here. I'm going to give up. No, 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 no. Nidalee's there. Nidalee's there. Let's just try and roam bot here. We'll let him put in a little pressure, and maybe we can get a good gank bot. Since uh, since they're so far up here. Nah, it looks like they sniffed us out here. Nah, we got this. This should be a free kill here. Just going to look to ignite her. Ooh, we got her heal and everything. Kind of sucks. I wish Vi would have would have hit her sooner. We needed that sooner. I'm just going to tell the Vi. We needed to be more decisive about that. We could have killed the Caitlyn there. But we'll back grab a Dark Seal, a Control Ward, and we do lose a plate to him, which is really bad and a lot of XP. Looks like our top lane's still getting crushed, too. She, if she walks up for a CS, she can die. She just needs to play it super safe. She needs to recall, actually. Um, looks like our bot lane's super low. Yeah, they might die there. Eh, Janna should be fine. All right, this guy has no mana, but he could just teleport. I have a feeling that Fiora's going to die under her tower. She's just risking it too much. There's no need for her to be there. She's so low. I can't even really trade with this guy unless uh, Vi comes. Even with him only having a, a, a pot... I would like to have Ignite here, but I think he's just going to back. Wanna see a trick? 
I gotta dodge the knockup. Get the taunt here. I do have him exposed to extra damage, but I don't think we're gonna finish him. Our Vi just keeps on uh, coming just a little bit too late, unfortunately for us. I'm gonna try and walk up and act like I'm gonna stop his back. All right, so there's the Nilly. I did stop his back, which, I, which is actually pretty big because he doesn't have any items anymore, right? Or uh, he hasn't bought yet, rather. Looks like his jungler is just going to help him push it in. She could potentially get killed, but the thing is... Uh, I wish our Vi was hanging around. If she was hanging around, she probably could have came and killed that uh, Nidalee for just showing like that. This guy's going to just TP in here, unfortunately. I wish we could have got something off of that bot realm. If we could have got a kill there, we could have potentially looked to go top on this guy. And help uh, help out that Fiora. I'm actually really surprised this Galio hasn't TP'd yet. I think maybe he's waiting on a gank from the Nidalee top. And he's... Or not the Nidalee, but uh, from our Vi. And he's trying to look top maybe or he's just saving his teleport let's see i'm gonna come up here i do have my alt it would be pretty big to get a kill onto this guy we really need vi to be coming though i think they sniffed us out already she needs to take that ward out if she takes that ward out we could potentially do something here i think galio's already looking to come up though he is looking to roam up i do have my alt I think Nidalee's going to be around here, though, which is the only problem. I just ran over a control ward. She's got to just chill there. She's giving it away super hard. She did chunk him out, though. Let's see. He's got us beat by about 20 CS. I think she may be doing the dragon right now. Because Galio just roamed down over there towards that area. so And they have pressure in their lanes. Just going to E right here. Because I kind of need to reset myself, to be honest. Yeah, they're definitely taking that dragon. No reason that Galio would be gone from the lane this long. Alright, I gotta get a reset in myself. I have a thousand gold and no corrupting pots, so I kind of need it for the sustain. Okay, our bot lane getting a kill. Alright, Galio's TPing in. I can use this time to at least push this wave in and make him miss something. Don't think my team wins that. Yeah. I'm not sure why they were fighting that. I can maybe try to get a plate here. Yeah, not sure why my team was trying to fight that. We know that uh, Galio TP down there, right? I think we just kind of get a give. Yeah, give. Just give. I think Vi just needed to give that there. They obviously had the numbers and the people there. That's just the nature of Galio, you know what I mean? I we pinged him out and we saw his teleport too. I'm just gonna mute all these guys. Or let me see. There we go. Alright. This is gonna be a hard one to win, I feel like. Mainly because the Darius is so far ahead and uh yeah, look at our bot lane. They're just running down there and dying. But we'll see if we can't bring this back. I've seen crazier comebacks. Just this Darius. He's, uh, let's see if we can't run up here and just pick him up. He might get cocky. I doubt it, though. He'll probably just reset here. He has no mana. I don't see him staying there. Maybe I should have went bot. I don't know. I just feel like they would have saw that coming. See if we can't catch this chick slipping at the scuttle. It'd be real nice to catch her, like, trying to come to it. See, I do have my alt here. Let's see if my team... Ah, come on. Like, we should be fighting this. He's in our jungle here. I just gotta stay in front of him so he can't... Um, we should have this guy. There's no way this guy survives. Nice, she's going to give me the kill too. Even if, I was say, even if she hops over, I can auto W her and then Q through her for PTA. We can bait this. See if Vi has flash. She does not. 
I was kind of hoping we could get that. I thought there was potential that we could. I want to shove this out so I can help Vi do whatever she's going to do. And potentially roam bot. But Galio does have his R, so he'd be able to use it there. Um, I'm afraid of him using it, honestly, down there right now. I'm going to come down, but I think he's going to make it to bear for before me. And also, Nidalee's probably in the area as well. Yeah, I think we just back off here. I think we just reset. Lucian's way too low. Yeah, just reset. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I did mute them, didn't I? This Lucian is playing with fire there. He was so low. I mean, he could he should have just backed, I feel like. All right, but we'll back, pick up our health crystal. And then, yeah, just try to come back mid. We're not down by too much farm, even though we have roamed a lot. See, are they taking this? They are taking that. Vi could potentially steal it, but yeah, I was about to say, I think they just burst it down too fast. Let me see if I can't make a roam up here top. I'm going to lose a lot of place to this Galio, but if I can potentially get myself back into it, looks like Darius might be coming down there. I don't know. I'll throw another ward right there. Yeah, they have a control ward here, so they will. he will be seeing me. I'm coming. Let's fight him. He's already dead. He's dead. He stayed too long. Look for a fish onto him. Oh, man, if Fiora would have just fought with me. My teammates really aren't looking to follow up on any of my plays, unfortunately. Oh, she comes and gives him one auto. Ugh. Man, if this Fiora would have just autoed him one time, we would have survived. We did get double assist, but man, that really feels bad, man. I don't know what Lucian's doing here. I guess he just decided to give up his lane. Need to kite back here. Kite up to this way, bye. Our team's playing really, really sloppy. I don't want to type because then I, I get really, like, caught up in the game and typing more so than playing the game. But, yeah, it kind of sucks. If um if she would have followed up on us right here we could have and just helped us, one auto would have killed Darius. We would have got a reset from Triumph, and we potentially could have killed um the Galio, too, without dying. I want to come check this because she may greed for this. Okay, I was just checking over here. Because I was thinking maybe she would agree. They keep on control warding this, so I got to take that out every time. And this Galio just has so much pressure on us because Nidalee's so strong. She kind of got like that off of our bot lane. And this guy already has a proto belt. Just going to eat his and then Q out of his taunt. Like, I'm not sure why my... Uh... I'm not sure why this is allowed to happen here at all. I got her with the... I'm going to die here, though. Uh, I get the 600 gold shutdown. I'm going to unmute her just to tell her to say, stick around me. Yeah, I think if I... Nah, she's going to die to this guy. She just needs to run. Just run. You're super low. No need to fight him. She's going to uh, int to him, potentially. Alt him, alt him. See, I want to go top, but without my R, there's no possible way I can go top. As we've already seen, this Fiora, she is not going to follow up on my... Uh, I, I don't think she plays Fiora like this. I don't think this player plays Fiora. This is going to be a real hard game. Caitlyn's going to be ridiculous. She's strong. This guy and this guy are. And Belkaz is just slowly uh, scaling as well. And Nidalee's already, already very strong. In her own right. See, if I come... Yeah, wow. He's already got that tower, too. Mm. That is pretty brutal. Um, Not sure what belt... Okay, yeah, this guy just TPs in. I could potentially run down here and look to gank her. Oh, man. They have their whole team here. They're just going to run from uh, lane to lane, pressuring in towers, because they got the bot and mid, or top. So now they can just group up as five and take our tower mid. Dude, what is she doing? She's just dead. 
can look for a fish potentially on her. Alright, I can get a kill onto the Nidalee, but... Yeah. You're building this. And this. You know I mean, you ha you can you're not building tanky. I was looking to reset my W there. Without my alt, I can't really start in a fight here. And they have Galio alt too, so, you mean, there's really not much we can do. They just have us completely beat out and pressure in the map. So, and they'll probably take this tower too, unfortunately. They just have the range and they ha have their people grouped up right now. Like, they can just keep pushing, pushing too if they want. Because we don't have our uh, people grouped up yet. And I'm pretty sure this is a uh, autofill support as well. We can't even contest that because this dude's up here. I was about to say, if Caitlyn walks through here, though, we, we really can't contest it because this guy's up here top lane just splitting. The only thing that could like maybe happen is Vi stealing it. Other than that, we ain't getting nothing over there because it would be a 4v5. Nice. So that's, yeah, right there, that's the best case scenario. That's the absolute best case scenario we can get right there. She steals the dragon. I'm here mid to pressure in this tower. This guy doesn't have ghosts or anything, so I'm not really worried about him. And Fiora gets a good split there, too. Um, we'll probably, dude, they keep this area war, uh, control warded here. I'm just going to sit right here, see if Fiora will come. Oh, I might get her. One more auto. Nice. I do get her, but I... If we can just... Please. Please. If we can rotate and have our team just rotate, we can win some of these fights. They are strong. And then it looks like our Lucian is going to die mid. It's, it kind of sucks to say, but this game may be, uh, may be a bit too far gone here. Just mainly because, the look at this, 4-1, and 4-2. and two. She's going to be strong. This Vel'Koz is ridiculously strong. And we have no real way to uh, get on to them. I'm really the only engage we have other than the buy. Fiora is just going to be splitting all game. She's really never going to be viable in a team fight unless we get extremely late game and she can just, you know I mean, 1v9. And then our Lucian isn't doing good either, and this is an autofill support. So we're pretty much um, against the odds already. Not sure what our team's doing right here. They're just going to run it down. Like, I'm not sure why our, our um, Fiora is still just going by. Look for a fish on one of them. She has no flash. Hit her with my PTA and then walk this way. I need to create time for my team. I think they got Galio ulted. Not much I can do there. I gotta come around this side. Alright, as long as my team doesn't die there. We did stop the Herald. I don't know how we're not winning these. I killed the, um, the Caitlyn. Took out their ADC. We're buying a lot of time for our buy, but she just, she could, or our uh, Fiora, but she could be coming mid and making plays. Just bail, just bail. I'm talking to her. If she loses to Vel'Koz, that's going to be real bad. Make sure I get that cannon. She needs to just bail at this point because the enemy team is 100% roaming to her. Yeah, she's just going to die over there. That's the worst kind of splitter that you want to play with is a person that just relentlessly splits without, uh backing off or listening to pings because we're already behind you know I mean they just ran it down our mid we didn't even i think she got a tower but they got basically our inhibitor turret so 100 percent not worth there um let's see if she'll let me get this blue probably won't the most we can do is just farm up and attempt yeah just hope for a crazy comeback basically 
putting a lot of eggs in this Fiora basket, pretty much. I mean, if the game goes long enough, I think we can. Because Fiora's a tank buster. Let me see. What do I need? I need 1,300 for my Lich Bane. I want to go up and catch that wave, but it's just so dangerous. Let's see if I can't get this cannon. I cannot. And Fiora's just going to continue to split, so we really can't look to do too much against the enemy here. We can look to make a play here mid. I have my ult. If we can ult... Well, I don't know why these two are both down here. We have a bunch of... We have their whole enemy team here mid. I don't know. I'm not sure what they're doing here. What is going on right now? Yeah, she's just gonna literally run it down the lanes and not and not help us at all. While they pressure us out with just they're just their numbers. They just beat us with their numbers right here. Nothing we can do about it. It's actual insanity, if you think about this. This is like pretty wild. We've got to commit somewhere though. I'm just going to hit her with an auto WQ. And all we can really do is just keep the enemy busy at this point. Because Fiora is just literally inting us. Yeah, Fiora is just inting us. Nice, he flash. We can maybe look for a fish on him. I'm um, just nah, they're just taking our structures here. Nice, I get a kill there, but it's not worth it. She's just trolling us here. She gets a, a tower, but we lost everything. I'm just gonna I'm trying to get my my point across to this Fiora that we could easily easily 1000% win this game if she groups with us because the enemy are getting sloppy there you I mean because she hasn't been grouping and like there's gonna come a point where we're not gonna be able to come back even if she scales up hard she's 04 and she you mean like she at this point what we lost for what she got is a hundred thousand percent not worth it because the enemy were already beating us in pressure. They can't fight that at all. What is she doing? Just go down and defend a tower. What are you doing? Yeah, this is probably game. I'm going to have to go down there, but I'm going to try and push this wave out first. Really unlucky game. Especially since it was very winnable. It was a very, very winnable game. She's just running it, bot. She's literally inting. It's a crying shame. This is crazy. Very unlucky. Very, very unlucky, truly. Ah, uh, we don't need to chase her down into the death, boys. Oh, I'm just watching here. I'm dead here. He's gonna Yeah, my team's just uh All right, that kind of sucks we're gonna lose this game solely based off of Fiora Yeah, that's a little unlucky you can't win them all but I think this game was 1,000% winnable if she didn't um, int us. Like what? 4v5. We're playing with a person who's actually inting us. We'll take you to after action after this though, boys.
All right, guys, this is the after action for the game we just played against that Galio mid. So starting from the top, that Fiora that completely ended the whole game for us, and it's probably just a terrible human being in, in real life anyways. Uh, mythic, more like myth bitch. Just a real fucking complete useless, I mean, just a real bad human in general. He's probably a turd in real life too. But he's sitting at Silver 1, probably will stay at Silver 1 for the rest of the season because – you can just see the way he plays. Just a complete selfish, like, asshole. There was really no reason for him to do what he did. He had a rough laning phase, and, and Vi came up there and did int him. And, you mean, you know, in her own right, Vi definitely, you mean, kind of sucked. But, you mean, she at least she kept playing and trying to uh, play the game, sort of, anyways. But, yeah, Vi was silver one. We're sitting at level 336. Uh, probably would have hit silver one off of that win if we would have if we would have won that. We had a Silver 1 ADC who also had a terrible game and a Gold 4 Janna who was a autofill support. And starting from the enemy top, that Darius was Silver 1, level 45 mid, uh, jungler, Silver 2 mid laner who we were going up against Galio. Builds full damage, runs Aftershock and, and, and just does the most damage in the game, clears the waves and also just alts to his team. So it's pretty hard to do anything against him as Fizz. And he just had a team that facilitated him really well. This guy got an early double, so he soaked up a bunch of pressure. This, These two, their lane completely dominated their lane and pushed in the tower. And then, basically, this guy just got to sit mid and clear waves and get and get plates. So, not the most, you know, I mean, entertaining game. And, and, you know, it sucks that we couldn't get the win. But I think... I think if this would have been a better human being, just uh, overall, just like personality-wise and uh, mentally, you could tell this dude probably has the mental of a of a small child. Anything that doesn't go his way, he just you know, I mean loses it and, and says, "Hey, let me f screw over these other f four human beings that I have in this game." So, yeah, not much you can do. But if you enjoyed the video, guys, drop a like. If you haven't yet, sub to the channel. Really do uh, enjoy and or appreciate it, and we'd love to have you here. If you want to see anything in the future in specific, let me know in the comment section below. All right, hope to see you guys on the next video.